Everybody, welcome back. So it's kind of sunny now, even though there was just an eclipse. It's really sunny out. But we're on the bed of my truck here. We're gonna start seeds. It's multiple weeks late. Like I should, I mean, I'll just pick up a random pack and look at what it says. Um, for my zone here, oh, this is outdoor planting. Well, I picked, picked the wrong pack. Pretty much, I should have done seeds like two, three weeks ago. And they would have been fine. But I just didn't, um, I just, I didn't yet. So I got a package today for my birthday from Jack's grandma. And we have three of these little seed starting trays. They have a dome, a decent dome, so you can let them grow a bit. And then it's got the vent on top, so that helps. So we got three of them. And then right here, you can see there's multiple, you know, these little ones in here. So you can't let them grow real long in here. This is just really just to get them, you know, about two inches tall, and then you take them out. So we're gonna go ahead and fill those with soil. Which, also in that package, there was a bag of seed starting mix from Jiffy. I noticed with starting seeds, usually it's worth the money to buy seed starting mix. Because if you get something really organic with like a lot of stuff in it, it's going to try to mold. So, yeah. And as far as seeds, there's this whole thing of seeds. So, we're going to go ahead, open up this bag of soil, and get them all filled first. All right, so we're just gonna scoop out some of the soil, fill these. These are smaller, like I said, so this soil should go a long way. I'm not gonna pack the soil just yet, but I'm gonna make sure there's no bark on top of each one. And then I'm just gonna place them back down in here. So we're gonna fill these trays up, and then we're gonna put the seeds in and mark them. The trays are all full here. Um, and all I'm doing now, is so I don't disturb it for a while, I'm gonna pour some water in the bottom. I'm gonna put about half an inch. Then I'm gonna set these in. I know you guys may not have trays that are like this, but if you do, it's easier to do this. And then you just really spray the top so it soaks in. Because a lot of times this will be kind of hydrophobic and it will keep the water on top. So if you put it in the bottom and the top, then it will finally get to it. So. Just doing that. I put holes in already. There was no point because they're starting to collapse because I'm picking them up. But I'm just going in and filling this with water. So I'm just going to pour it in and then set this on top. So next up is the seeds. Okay, guys, so here on the bed of my truck, we have the seeds lined up. My sister picked them out and then put tags. I am going to be buying plants since it's really late starting seeds. But just kind of get a variety, you know, and I'll have a later crop. So first up, we got Ukraine Purple. Those are tomatoes. We got Firework Tomatoes. Mammy Brown's Tomato. Giant Syrian Tomato. And Jack's Grandma, along with the seed starters, sent uh, these bell pepper seeds from their garden. And they sent Parks Whopper Big Pepper. Here we got red pimento, and then we have jalapenos. So we're going to start with them and get them in the trays. I already put all the holes in, so we're going to put them in and tag them. We're going to start from this side over. These can just move for now. But all we're going to do is I decided to do four rows of three instead of three, three rows of four. So... I'm just going to put the tag in. You guys can't see it, but this is Ukraine purple. I'm going to stick that in that row. And I like this little seed envelope. It's got cool packaging. These were sent to me by Jack's grandma last year, which I planted some last year, but these never germinated, I don't think. So, since this is going to, I'm already getting other tomatoes and things. These are just the variety. I'm only going to put one seed per hole. Um, I'm not really worried about having three of each because I'm not going to have the room. So if they all come up, they do. But if they don't, they don't. So I know it's best to put a few 
per thing. And usually peppers I do put a few because they're kind of weird sometimes. But we're just going to go through and do them all like that. So I'm going to put the firework tomato. And, you know, these tomatoes, that's the thing with seeds is, obviously you can go get them from a store, the plants, but the seeds, you can get cool ones. Even if they don't grow the best, you can still get cool tomatoes. So, I'm going to put one each in the firework tomato. And cover it up. I'm not putting much force at all on this because I'm going to water it. It's going to sink. And that one's done. So we're going to go through tomatoes in this one. Then we're going to go over to peppers. And then from there I'll figure out what else. Okay guys, so here's the first tray. All marked. And I'm going to just put the dome on for now. The last thing I'm going to do is go through and miss them all. But for now I'm just going to lock them in the dome. Which, this dome is nice. Usually they're too low. They, they don't work when they're that low, they just don't. But that's that's nice. So I'm going to set them back there, and then we're going to slide up the next tray. And we got the Jack Jack's Grandma Pepper. So it definitely has a name, but, you know, at least when I'm playing, it's going to be Jack's Grandma Pepper. So And once again, I'm just going to do one seed per hole. I know this may stress some people out, including my sister. <laughs> But, you know, these are going to be container plants or late season plants because it is late season. So I'm not planning on having all these plants. I wouldn't have room for all these plants. So, got that packed in there. So there's that. We're going to do the Parks Whopper pepper. And... One down there. Now it'll be, it'll be really good if these all germinate, you know. Most of these packets are kind of fancy, so I'm assuming maybe they have a better germination rate because usually they really sort seeds well if they're a lot. But you can never guarantee it. And might as well just do these last two real quick. Here's the pimento. These are the ones that I roast. Um, they're kind of a specialty pepper that I'm not going to buy from the nursery so if these go then these are the ones I'm going to rely on and then we got the so easy upcharged so you can just see them pepper seeds the only reason I bought these because I'm cheap with seeds the only reason I bought them is because it was the only jalapeno peppers left at my Walmart last year so I will be buying some of these from the nursery I mean, I, I probably will. So, I just didn't want to miss out on starting seeds this year. Because it's, it's nice. I still might order a few weird things. I wanted to grow peanuts, but... So, there's that tray. Water's in the bottom of it, but it needs misted. So, there's that tray. Stick the dome on it. And it's ready. So... Here's the last tray. Here's what I have to pick through real quick. So, we're going to figure out what herbs are better. Okay, guys, so I'm misting these plants. This is an old mister. I'm trying not to get the other seeds wet, but that thing's leaking bad. So, those are water and putting the lid back on. And I'm going to have it cracked because now there's a lot of moisture in there. Grab our other one. This is an old water mister. We'll see how these seed trays do, but I think they're going to work pretty well. So those two are misted and all good. We're just now finishing off the herb tray. Okay guys, so here's the seeds. Um, these are all domed up. I'm going to bring them inside. We might get some wind later. And I added oregano, thyme, catnip, and Armenian cucumbers. So, I'm going to show you something out back and we'll end this uh, seed start video off. Okay guys, so here's one of my containers and since I let the lettuce bolt last year, 
and keep growing, it went to seed and it filled this all up with baby butter crunch lettuces. So I just want to show you guys that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, today was the eclipse, so for a date that's April 8th, it's late on seeds. But we'll still have plants, you know. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a simple video, but I know some of you guys really like the seed starting. There's going to be a garden clean-out video, which, as you can see, there's tons of weeds. And all that needs pulled out and changed. And then these containers need re-leveled. Um, and since it's soil that I make, it really lowers every year. So I have to re-put straw and compost into these. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and there's more gardening stuff soon, but that's the seeds, so we'll see when they sprout.